Don't trip. You know, the longer you stand up here, yeah, the it scarier, scarier it becomes. Scarier. So by going second. I've just screwed myself. You've just screwed yourself. Yep. Hey, I'm Chris Beyer. I'm Kevin Ryan. And today we are testing the Velocity, Velocity suit. suit. So this suit is made by a company called Ministry of Supply, which I thought was a strange name for a suit maker. The suit is designed by a bunch of MIT grads that wanted to bring tech to clothing. This bad boy right here is made of a NASA-created material, phase change material. A NASA, yes. this is NASA Astronaut material. Astronaut used to train in this kind uh -huh. of thing. Uh-huh. So the Be idea fancy. is that this suit can withstand a lot more than your everyday suit. So Has. it's stretchy, it's breathable. You feel it, it's kind of elastic -y. Oh, Definitely yeah. doesn't feel like yeah. your everyday suit. And everything's apparently wrinkle free, so you can just stuff this in your bag, you take it out, and then your body heat will iron it out. Wow. Yeah. And it's machine washable. See, that's crazy to me. No dry cleaner needed. If I saw somebody at the laundromat trying to wash their blazer in a washing machine, I would I would tap them on the shoulder and let them know what's Moron. up. Moron! One of the founders actually ran a half marathon in this thing just to prove how versatile it is. So this is kind of what John Wick wears in the movie John Wick. Exactly. So let's take him home, we'll go through a day of work, and we'll see how we do. Sounds like a pretty boring test. But it's very practical. After we do Kevin's test, then we'll do my test, and we'll really put these suits to the test. Did the I test. say test too many times? <laughs> a lot of tests. So we wore these suits in the office for a day, and they held up, they were fine, but I don't think it was an actual legitimate test of... It was more practical. It was more practical. Not very extreme. So here we are at a Ninja Warrior complex, a parkour gym in Brooklyn, and we have an instructor. How's it going, guys? Spider. Spider. Do you think that wearing a suit is gonna be a handicap? From how it should work, I don't know if you're gonna have particular mobility in your chest or shoulders. Maybe you might get a rip somewhere down in this area, but mm. we'll see how it holds up. Okay, I've seen that see. happen on the dance floor, so I can't imagine uh, swinging At, around on these things. You said you're, you're telling us you ripped your pants on I've the dance I've seen floor. it done. Pants intact? No rips. Okay. So next up we have the warped ball, yeah. made famous by Ninja Warrior. This is the real test of yeah. the suit, right? We're gonna try going for the 12 here. Okay. Oh! Not bad. I touched it. Touched it. Right there. Touched I touched it. it. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 Woo! Hey yo! There we go. Damn it. <laughs> well, there it is. Hey! But I am wearing you did a suit. It. You did it. Fuck off! <laughs> I felt that if we were wearing normal suits during the parkour, we would have been. Would have stood no shot. They would have ripped. Yeah. 100%. First time that I did this or reached up. Yeah. Or got down real low, that thing's. Whoa! Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, where am I? The suit's not going to explode, or will it? I'd give you a hand, but then it wouldn't be the true test. It definitely passed our test. All the tests. There is one caveat, though. Okay. When we were wearing the suits, showed our resident suit connoisseur, John Fine, these suits and just tried to get his opinion. This is a man that wears suits a lot. Yeah. Here's what he had to say. Well, I'm not sure I love the fabric here. It's a, it's a little puckery and the... Crease kind of doesn't want to stay creased. Doesn't want like to you stay can see, creased. yeah, it's kind of it's a little weird that way. It's it's not terrible. Okay. Um, I mean, like it's I don't. Not I, terrible. I don't. It's not, it's not terrible. terrible. <laughs> this, without question, serves a purpose. Um, there are other designers um, that at a slightly higher end are making suits that you can allegedly travel with. I believe Paul Smith is one of them. Like that you can stuff in your suit. Yes, th that's what they say. I haven't tried it. Also, if it's Paul Smith, it's not going to be $500. It's going to be a lot more than uh, that. What's the word I want to use here? The most pristine suit you've ever it's seen. It's not the most pristine suit. Personally, I had no idea. I put it on and I thought it was the sharpest thing I ever wore in my life. Really? Oh yeah, I've never had a black suit before. I've had sharper suits than okay. this. Okay. The other thing Fancy. is the machine washable thing. Yeah. Did any of us try machine washing this? James, you tried machine washing this? Washed it. What happened when you machine washed it? It was amazing. It feels really weird to be throwing a suit into a washing machine. 
John said it looked better after I washed it than it did before I had washed it. Really? It smells like laundry, it feels clean, it dried quickly, and it doesn't look too bad, I don't think, so. So James, you're saying it passed the machine wash test? 100%. And see, that, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty big. amazing. So if I had, you know, 600 plus dollars that I wanted to spend on a suit that I was gonna wear every day, hence the machine washable thing, I would, get, I, would, I would go for this suit. Given the budget, this is my number one option. You yeah. can do everything with it. And yeah. it felt like I was wearing a pair of pajamas, honestly. Incredibly comfortable. We can now say that this product has been ink-tested. Ink -tested.